With me right now is DeAndre Lane. This is Bianca's father. With him, Terry L. Johnson, both joining us out of Michigan. He is the attorney. Mr. Lane, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us, Nancy. Mr. Lane, the, can, can you give me a description of the assailants, number one? That would be useful in trying to track Bianca down. You, you know, Nancy, again, uh, we've given a description of the assailants, and the police have put that out. Okay, great. Can you give me the description tonight so the viewers can hear it? Mr. Lane. Well, again, Nancy, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Don't you have a composite that you can post? Wouldn't that be better? I have a black and white composite. Uh, Mr. Johnson, if he could describe, he said there's two unknown armed assailants. I have a composite of one of them. I, it's a black and white charcoal sketch. I don't know what color their outfits were. I don't know how tall they are. I don't know what the other one even looks like. All right, I'm going to try well, it again, Mr. Lane. What did the assailants look like? Nancy, just, you know, we don't want to start this off on a hostile terms. What we're attempting to okay. do is do everything we can to get Bianca back. And we've uh -huh. given that information to the police. And right. again, so we're you, asking that the police disseminate the that information. Like. Okay, fine. I, what can I, I think that should be Mr. disseminated Lane through the talk police. About Okay, great. What can Mr. Lane talk about tonight? You know, we can talk about uh, pretty much anything other than the events that happened on December 2nd, the unfortunate event. Okay, great. We've given let's, a statement let's start to there, the then. police. Mr. Lane, let's back it up and go to a moment before the carjack. Tell me about the two-year-old little girl, Bianca. My daughter is a beautiful little girl. Um, she, she has a bright personality. She is the type of person that lights up a room when she walks in it. She is, she's very intelligent. She, she's just a wonderful little girl to be around. I mean, all my children are wonderful. I love all my children dearly, and she is just, she is one of those lights in my life. How many children do you have, Mr. Lang? I have seven. Uh, do they all have the same mother? No, they do not. Where were you going the morning the car was carjacked? I was on my way to her mother's house at the moment the car was carjacked. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Repeat. I was on my way to her mother's house moments before the car was carjacked. Now, I read something that you were on your way to see about your financial aid for your student tuition. Is that incorrect? That is incorrect. That happened prior to all of this taking place. I fully co cooperated with the police and given them every bit of information that I could give them. Um, I don't know where you're getting your information from, but that was prior, it, earlier on in the day when the situation took place we were on our way to her mother's to get her more clothes so she can spend more time with her family okay you, you stated you were earlier checking on your financial aid for your tuition where was that at wayne county community college wayne county community college what are you studying sir education and what is it that you would like to be it was a toss-up between the social worker and the teacher, but as I look at the state of education in my city, I think that there's a need for more black males to step up and become educators. Okay, so you want to be a teacher. Mr. Lane, yes. did you take Bianca into the building when you checked on your tuition? No, I did not. I never entered the building. As I told police, I gave them a full disclosure of every, all the events that took place up until the carjacking. They have this information. Okay. Okay, right. I, I, I couldn't understand what you said. I, I think you said you did not take her into the building to check on tuition because you yourself did not go into the building. Is that right? Yes. We did not enter the building. Okay. Then how did you check on your tuition? I was on my way up there to check on my tuition. I realized that I left my briefcase at home, which had the other paperwork that I needed to file for my financial aid. 
Okay. Now, does this mean that you were then bypassing the briefcase and bypassing the tuition and going to get Bianca some more clothing? Well, you, you know, Nancy, again, I believe these questions have been answered, and our focus here tonight is doing what we can to get Bianca back to her father. Well, you and know her what mother. would really help, Mr. Johnson, is letting the viewers know what area of town you were in so maybe they could figure out who the assailants are that took the little girl. If you would like me to direct the questions directly to you, Mr. Johnson, I'll be happy to do that because my goal tonight is to get the information about where this girl was taken and who her assailants may be. As a matter of fact, there's a chance this child is still alive. And I would like Mr. Johnson and her father, DeAndre Lane, to join me in trying to get our viewers help in finding this child alive.